go to a Steiner school. <laughs> now, when people think of a Steiner school, they generally think, oh, that freedom, no rules school. More to the point, what a Steiner school is, is a hippie alternative type school with a bit of a different philosophy towards learning. For example, instead of regular subjects, we get to paint, we get to knit, bind books, in year 12. <laughs> Some of the kind of parents are a bit alternative. They love dressing in rainbow colours. Wonder if they know that rainbow is the international symbol of gay pride. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. It wasn't the hairy legs of the women that put me off. It was a completely different ball game. <laughs> like, they also, the parents also seem to trap their kids in style by giving them names like Windfall flower and summer sea blossom. <laughs> For a boy! <laughs> the kid I go to school with. Had to be him. What if he wanted to be in a punk band? And now, for the thrash metal of Death Fight with their new lead singer, Summer Sea Blossom. <laughs> All the tough guys in the front go, What? <laughs> you know, apart from giving their kids crap names and dressing like rainbow fairies, the Steiner parents are very environmentally friendly. They're very careful not to step on any plants or insects when they get out of their big four-wheel drives. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we've got these rules, like in primary school, we're not allowed to wear black, because black's a negative, depressing colour. What if a goth wanted to come to our school? You can't be depressed in a rainbow poncho. <laughs> we're trying to figure out what we want on our school flag. Rainbow fairies or anti goth campaign? <laughs> you be the judge. <laughs> like, and even further on in kindergarten, we've got some other weird things like dolls that don't have faces, and this is so that the child can project their own face onto the doll. I wasn't told this. I pick up one of the dolls and go, Oops, Barbie's had one too many facelifts. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, Barbie hired a back alley surgeon. <laughs> Sense to me why teachers were handing out dolls that resembled Hannibal Lecter victims to children. <laughs> you know, the other thing in kindergarten, it was all about turning negative emotions into something positive. Like when we were angry in kinder, we had to grind wheat to make flour. <laughs> Not blatant case of child labour. <laughs> hey Will, you look pretty angry. You should turn that anger into something positive. Some of these Nikes need stitching. <laughs> when I graduated from kindergarten boot camp, I had to deal with this new subject called Eurythmy. Now, Eurythmy is sort of an interpretive style dance that uses body movements to describe letters of the alphabet. Like, and their sounds like T for T, and K for K, and <laughs> I was daydreaming in a Eurythmy class. I looked up and the teacher went, I was like, whoa, I don't want anything to do with your shenanigans. <laughs> I'm like seven. I'm like a hundred. I'm not interested. <laughs> Steiner gets a bad rap. A lot of rumors go around about Steiner. Like, the public school up the road thinks that we just sit around and smoke weed all day. Well, first of all, that's what they do. <laughs> Secondly, if we wanted to, they'd have to give it to us. <laughs> We're a private school. When we finish paying the school fees, there's not enough money left for we. <laughs> the other thing is, people think we're into stuff like astrology. No, astrology hates me. It gave me a bad star sign. I'm Virgo. That means the virgin. <laughs> Why couldn't I have a cool star sign like Leo the Lion, Rar, um, Taurus the Bull? <laughs> <laughs> Something new to impress the ladies. No, I'm stuck with Virgo. I mean, you'd be upset if someone called you a virgin on Facebook. Someone wrote it about me in the stars. <laughs> a bigger audience. <laughs> you know, the Steiner system really works. Look at me. I'm in knitting, painting, colourfully dressed. Environmentally friendly, weed smoking, would it be teacher attracting, astrological virgin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>